Okay, so this video is going to be a basic bonbon bon tutorial. I'm going to be going over his uh, main abilities, how they work, his best personas, and uh, sort of basic strategies for camping and chasing. So this here shows the um, time it takes for his bombs to explode. So you can, you can change the tick to 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Um, generally in chase you want to put it at 2. And when you're camping you want to put it at 40. So this is his remote controlled bomb. This bomb you can choose when to set it off. Um, so it lasts about, I think, 40 seconds. And then you can choose when to set it off. It also has a cooldown of 40 seconds. And there's a slight uh, recovery you have to go through in order to, after you set it off. When chaining bombs, you need there to be a strong overlap in order to chain them. So when you put a two tick bomb down, if you put an overlapping bomb that's literally just before the two ticks about to set off, it will set them both off. And that's, this is, that's how you mainly chase and camp people using the chain bomb technique. It's literally how bomb bombs should be played. Um, it takes a bit of it takes a bit of difficulty to get it down, but once you understand it, it's very strong. So obviously, if you set a long tick on it and then chain lots, it'll take a long time for them all to be chained. Um, here's an example I did with just ten ticks, and I chained them all quite far, and you can see them all um, explode. So how to position your bombs? Your bombs will set off and place down in the direction that your camera is facing. So when you're camping, you stand still put a two tick down and then face the character running and plant a bomb down. This gives them very little time to react and also since you're standing still you can easily um, measure up where they are and then kill them. I should also note that just spamming bombs down is not good because the survivors can dodge it quite easily since you're just doing it at random and also your bombs will run out so you won't be able to get two bomb hits on them and then stuff the save. So you need to be smart and efficient with your bombs. Again, when camping the temptation is just to spam as many 40 tick bombs down as possible or on the chair. This isn't good because um, A you don't have any to be able to actually stuff survivors and B uh, survivors can just come quickly for the save and it'll only count as one hit. So again you apply the same thing I was doing earlier where you put one down, turn to face the survivor, which is kind of hard because they're moving but you'll get used to it and then put the other one down and get the hit on them. You need two bomb hits and then you're able to stuff the save, unless it's a merc. Uh, mercs, it, who you should ban as bomb bomb, or, or mechanic, um, but if you're able to stuff a merc, you've done well. There are two personas that you can run when playing bomb bomb. Uh, the first is upright, which I run, up for the confined space, so you block windows when you vault them, and also the pallet breaking, and then the right is for trump cards, so you can switch your ability at the end. I also run, run one into desperate fight one into tinnitus, one into panic, and then two into control freak. Uh, sometimes I, if there's no stunner on the team, I'll take out desperate fight and put another one in control freak. Um, the uh, trait I want to run as hunter is always blink with this build. The other build you can run with bonbon bon is down right. Uh, so you stick with trump card. You don't take any into berserker, you take one into panic. Uh, it, you can kind of change it because you well you obviously take tinnitus, but you can kind of change it with how many you run into control for you got desperate fight. But the difference is you run detention. Uh, generally, the trait you'd run with this is peeper. So depending on the persona build, you run peeper or blink, and then you switch to teleport. And if it's an extreme case, you run abnormal uh, to uh, put pressure on the ciphers. When chasing, you want to do the same method I showed you for camping, just on the move. Uh, you need, especially early game, you need to be very careful on how you use your bombs because they deplete fast and they also don't recharge as fast. As, uh, early game, I often go for the bomb bomb hit and the hit is often with blink. But it, it's honestly up to you how you play it. You can go hit, hit or bomb hit bomb. Uh, or hit bomb bomb, but it, I prefer to go bomb bomb hit. So here's another example of me getting a good down early game. I didn't see where this mechanic went, but I was able to predict that she would go that way, so I chained my bomb to there. Uh, I then got another bomb hit on her here, and uh, and then, because bomb has got quite good drift, I drifted through uh, with my swing and then hit her through the pallet. Something I do is if, if there's a cypher wiggling near me, I'll try and apply pressure to it by throwing a remote control bomb on it and then hitting, uh, trying to hit or get a bomb hit on the survivors there, because um, remote control hits aren't great for camping. Although in this, in this instance here, I didn't see the doctor was already there, so she got the free rescue. 
so here I'm going to showcase how I camp. Uh, this doesn't normally happen because I normally get two regular bomb hits on them, but I threw a remote bomb at this barmaid here. Uh, she was quite unaware that I threw it, so I did get a hit on her here. She then comes to the rescue, and I'm chaining my bombs, and I do get a bomb hit on her. And then from there it's easy, because I just go for the regular hit. So Merc comes in, I get a regular bomb hit on him here, another regular bomb hit on him here. And now, at this point, he should just go for it, because if I get another bomb on him, I can down him with a regular hit. So he does eventually go for that, but I get the terror shot, because I was able to predict that he'd go for that. Because if he backed off any longer, I'd be able to stuff it. So Perfuma comes in, I do the same thing I did on the barmaid, and I throw a remote bomb at her, long distance. It's really not an issue if that doesn't hit, because I can get two bombs on her anyway. But it's nice if it does, and it did. So I bomb her again, she perfumes back, and I chain my bomb again whilst angling that, and then I stuff her again. So yeah, it's once you get camping down, it's pretty easy. Also, shut the fuck up, barmaid. But once you get camping down, it's quite easy. <laughs> so yeah, that's my beginner's guide to bomb bomb. Um, I'll release an advanced one too on camping techniques and survivor behaviour that you can that I've analysed and you can predict their behaviour and get terror shocks more easily. But for now, this is just you know how he works, how to do his basic stuff, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy.